Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting news from HTC. The company just announced their latest VR headset, the Vive Focus Vision. Building on the success of the Vive Focus 3, this new headset is packed with features aimed squarely at gamers, offering impressive specs and improved connectivity options. So, let's dive into everything you need to know about the Vive Focus Vision. The Vive Focus Vision is HTC's new VR headset priced at $999 and is available for pre-order on HTC's website until October 17th. It's designed to be versatile, working either as a standalone device or tethered to your PC via USB-C. HTC is positioning this headset as a major upgrade over the Vive Focus 3, which launched in 2021. You get the same stunning 2448 by 2448 per eye resolution and a 120 degree field of view, powered by the Snapdragon XR2 chip, but with some serious enhancements. One of the biggest upgrades is the dual 16 megapixel cameras with color pass through. This means the headset can provide a much clearer and more immersive mixed reality experience, blending the real and virtual worlds. The Focus Vision also introduces automatic lens adjustment, which compensates for the distance between your eyes, making it more comfortable and personalized. HTC is also stepping up its game for PC gamers. With faux vetted rendering, the headset can focus graphical resources where you're looking, making the VR experience smoother and more efficient. As Shen Ye, HTC Vive's global head of product said, now, PC gamers can bring the same high-end headsets used in VR arcades into their homes. The Focus Vision adds DisplayPort support via USB-C, which HTC claims offers a lossless connection when tethered to your PC. This is huge for those wanting the best possible visual experience. Plus, an update coming later this year will boost the refresh rate from 90Hz to 120Hz when using DisplayPort tethering, making your games look even smoother. The Focus Vision also boasts 128 gigabytes of internal storage, expandable with a micro SD slot for up to two terabytes and 12 gigabytes of RAM, up from the eight gigabytes in the Focus 3. This means more power and room for all your games and apps, and it supports all Focus 3 accessories, so you won't need to buy new ones if you're upgrading. HTC has also made some thoughtful changes to the headset's design. The Focus Vision's built-in battery can last around 20 minutes, just enough time for you to swap out the main power pack, which gives you about two hours of gameplay. HTC has improved the cooling system too, with a new fan that moves 30% more air through the headset, keeping things cool even during intense sessions. The head strap has also been redesigned to handle more wear and tear, with HTC improving the metal hook at the back and adjusting the handling of the top side and sidearms. As Dan O'Brien, HTC's president of the Americas, put it, the changes were based on how abusive users can be with their gear, helping to address any weak points from the previous model. The Vive Focus Vision is clearly aimed at the consumer market, moving away from the business-oriented vibe of the previous Focus headsets. HTC's targeting gamers directly, which we can see in the Quest 2-style controllers and the overall focus on gaming enhancements. This feels like a natural progression from last year's Vive XR Elite, which was also geared toward consumers but came with a higher price tag and lower resolution. And if you're thinking about pre-ordering, there are some great incentives. Anyone who pre-orders before October 17th will receive a free kit that includes a 5-meter USB-C cable with DP 1.4 alternate mode support and multiple adapters for PC VR streaming. Plus, HTC is throwing in a choice of three popular game bundles to get you started right away. So, what do you think of the Vive Focus Vision? Are you excited about the color pass-through and improved PC tethering? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any updates on the latest VR tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.